Okay, peace brothers and sisters, this is Brother Omawali. Um, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to go through some books in my collection for those of you that have been asking for some historical sources to back up some of the material that I've been posting lately uh, concerning Africa and slave trade, the history of the African slave trade. Uh, some of these books don't deal specifically with that. They deal mostly with African history. Some of them will give you some background into it. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna provide you some information that will help some of you along in your own studies. Um, some of these I'm sure that you have read before or have in your collection. I'm sure there's some that you haven't. So I'm just gonna do a quick run through and these are some of my favorites and some of my current reading. Okay, so we start on this end. Okay, this is Black Arabia and the African Origins of Islam, and I believe this is by Brother West, Dr. Wesley Muhammad. Okay, this book is called Buki Fate Gumbo. This book talks about the Whitney Plant Plantation and the Africans in early Louisiana, specifically that were brought here on the Whitney Plantation between 1750 and 1860. Okay, uh, next is West Africa Islam in the Arab World by John Hunwick. Okay, the next book is The Rape of the Mind. Now this is an old classic. I'm not sure how many of you have heard of this book before but I suggested to understand uh, some background in terms of psychological warfare and the devastation that colonialism has uh, played in its effect on the African mind. Okay, next, Pre-Colonial Black Africa by Sheikh Anta Diop. The Jews of Islam by Bernard Lewis. They Came Before Columbus by Ivan Van Sertima. Africans and Native Americans, The Language of Race and Evolution of Red Black Peoples by Jack D. Forbes. Now, I don't know for all of you that post a lot of information on um, indigenous people and the African Connection. This is a very interesting read, which I would suggest if you haven't gotten into this book before. All right, second stat. Uh, History of Ethiopia and Nubia and Abyssinia. Yeah, the one book in here by E.A. Wallace Budge. How to Eat to Live, a must have, as far as nutrition is concerned. Fighting the Greater Jihad. Uh, this is a book on Amadou Bamba and the founding of the Meridia of Senegal. And this is one book that I'm going to be in the future going into in greater detail in terms of the movement, the Marid movement in Senegal and that Seneg Senegal River Valley area after the fall of Songhai. Okay, uh, this is a book called Pulling No Punches, The Religious Factor by a brother uh, who is currently deceased, passed a couple years ago. Some of you may have heard of, he's a brother from out of New Jersey named Keda Kenyatta, brother Keda. Okay, next is Race and Ethnicity in the Classical World, an anthology of primary sources in translation. Very interesting book that gives you an idea of, well, you see the topic in antiquity, in the classical world. Okay, next up is Mississippi to Africa, Journey of Discovery by Melvin Collier. 
And notice there's a forward in this book by Rick Kittles. Kittles some of you are familiar with um, Dr. Kittles' work with the African American um, genealogy. Okay, next is Mission from Cape Coast to Ashante. When Egypt ruled the East. Very important book. Of course, the classic Black Power, Politics of Liberation by Kwame Ture and Charles Hamilton. Okay, here we go. Islamic and caste knowledge and practices amongst Hal Pilar and Senegal. Um, this is an important book for those of you who may claim that there was no caste societies in pre-colonial Africa. That, that book pretty much breaks it down. Okay, of course, The Cultural Unity of Black Africa by Dr. D. I wore the cover off of this one. Archaeology of Early Egypt. The Social Life of DNA, Race Reparations and Reconciliation After the Genome by Alondra Nelson. A couple more. In Search of Our Roots, How 19 Extraordinary African Americans Reclaim Their Past. Of course, The Histories by Herodotus. The Golden Trade of the Moors by Edward William Boville. Biden's Christian, Christianity, Islam, and the Negro race. The story of the Moors in Spain by Stanley Lane Poole. Five classic Muslim slave narratives. Very important book that deals with many of our ancestors who came specifically from the Fula clans of Fuda Toro. Okay. The Canarian, our book of the conquest and conversion of the Canarians in the year 1402. Now this book is very important because it gives you some information on the very earliest Portuguese contacts uh, along the Guinea coast. Okay, the Chronicle of the Discovery and Conquest of Guinea, which is basically a companion to the Canarian. And we're winding it down. Okay. Dreamy Religion and Society in Africa. Recommended reading. A State of Intrigue. This is on the Epic of Bamana Seu, according to, to Yuru Banbera. It's about the history of the Bamana. Okay, Nigerian Perspectives, a historical anthology. There's a lot of great information on the houses, states, uh, Black Roots by Tony Burroughs. Reconstructing Proto-Asiatic, Proto-Asian, Afro-Asian by Christopher Eric. And last but not least, if you have not done so, get your DNA done. All right, that's it, peace.